Thank you, Chair, and good afternoon. Uh, please allow me first to thank the organizer for the kind invitation to join this uh, important uh, uh, daily dialogue uh, seven. In my first time, but not of course in my first time in India, um, uh, we've been uh, working with uh, colleagues. We're talking this morning about intellectual exchanges, a part of important exercise to uh, uh, better increasing understanding among each other on the, the particularly ASEAN India. Uh, 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 working on, on the subject that we've been uh, trying to uh, coming about. Uh, uh, well, the two speakers, uh, uh, well, the, the uh, Nambia, uh, who may also uh, respect the work, we've been together in the project of uh, ASEAN 2030. So the book uh, launched uh, one, two years ago is important one. In fact, uh, uh, why he talking about the Malaysia we host this year, uh, the, the summit, uh, the so-called uh, our vision, our identity, and our community. That's a theme. Um, and uh, he very much uh, go on to speak about the, the work. Uh, in fact, uh, we uh, very much try to look at the uh, kind of aspiration of, of, of ASEAN within the context of, of Asia, you know, rise of China, rise of India. What about ASEAN? And I see ASEAN is so diverse, talking about the more developed from Singapore, Malaysia, Thailand down to uh, Laos or, or Myanmar. So that's something that we uh, try to come out about the kind of projection, uh, economic projection would be, okay, we will reasonably uh, increase uh, economic growth of four to 7% in, uh, in, the, in the region and, and also be resilient about the uh, uh, resource oriented, how we're doing all kind of the, you know, the theme that we treat in that report. And also, Dr. Prabir, of course, uh, we work uh, over the years on, uh, particularly also on ASEAN India again and, and connectivity projects. So I'm really pleased again to listen to them and the latest uh, uh, works that we we all try to to doing. Uh, let me perhaps uh, in uh, now perhaps five minutes <laughs> as a chair uh, try to uh, uh, request me to do a few points. So I try to perhaps uh, be uh, selective. I mean. Uh, taking the, the three themes uh, that assigned to me from uh, regional production network and value chains and uh, energy and and also about the uh, what you call the other one connectivity of course infrastructure um, of course um, uh, uh, the first thing I think is uh, we have to put it in the context of course that both ASEAN and India as we all know now we are in the uh, emerging region you know that's uh, uh, despite we talking about the low level of trade, uh, 70, 80 percent, not that for sure. And Prabhu just mentioned about the 200. Uh, we heard from yesterday the 200 target. You know, we could do more, of course, if we uh, have to be frank and, and see how we uh, really address uh, the, the the issues uh, or problems and evidence that we have uh, with each other. So this is something very important. I think the way. Uh, we're seeing, uh, particularly on uh, economic side, uh, the record. What the record telling us, of course, uh, something, of course, but is not may not be enough, and that's why exactly we have to looking at uh, uh, another dimension uh, on our on how uh, as India we've gone through uh, already gone through tremendous changes in a, in a, in the past decades. And we be more, I think, is a, uh, so a lot of uh, surprising thing that we have to look into it. So that's how the future potential linkages, uh, whether the concern, of course, with looking at economic interdependence, because you said that they're not enough, but that how to uh, moving from here, and we're talking to about the rising uh, so-called development of uh, regional production network, a value chain, uh, whether Professor Kimura, the, the work of areas, we learn from South a Southeast Asia and East Asia now, more connected, and how about uh, India and South Asia, and also try to broadening the new frontiers, which include among the, of course, we're talking about connectivity, people-people uh, people exchange, of course, this is one of it, the uh, large to small, medium business and technology cooperation, down to uh, institutional connectivity. So by taking, I think, uh, a new, reshaping economic uh, landscape in Asia into what we we doing. I think this ASEAN India partnership can uh, also have to take into that perspective. So that's why post-15 agenda, the next 10 years, we're talking next 10 years, 
and the leaders of ASEAN India Summit in Nebido again try to reemphasize about the next 10 years what will happen. So uh, that's really important for us. Um, however, I think that we need to be also frank in uh, the way we're looking uh, at the assessment of uh, the problem we have in particularly the economic issues. And here we take the three themes. Uh, the, the first, we said we know that there's still slow improvement in our trade barriers. Despite we said the latest agreement uh, that we're going to implement on the trade uh, uh, services and, uh, and investment, apart from trade and goods that we have from 2010. So we still have to exploit how to make the trade increase among others uh, from the barriers we have. And we're looking at a slow progress in cross and joint investment, which might reflect the difficulties that we uh, face each other, whether it's a law regulation, perception gap uh, that we still have each other, and also the slow development of infrastructure connectivity, despite the, all the projects. But this is something that the ground that we have to see, a lot as the chairman just mentioned about it, financial needs uh, and a lot of things on the ground that we need perhaps even to show the success case. What about the, the, the this important? I like the slide that uh, uh, Prabhu tried to show, the one of uh, the so-called, the uh, you show the one, the connectivity uh, induced uh, uh, what do you call network between the ASEAN India, particularly I think this uh, Northeast India and uh, Myanmar, because this is uh, Myanmar is 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 is, is, uh, is uh, very important that we need to precise again that uh, this byland connectivity and how to reach uh, the, the the Mekong region or the mainland Southeast Asia and the rest of ASEAN. So. I think this is a uh, uh, very important that we're looking at the economic interdependence. We found out that Southeast Asia already have a high intra-industry trade with East Asia, you know, over 70 percent. Why India still have of ASEAN, you know, that you're not yet connected to in terms of uh, intra-industry trade. But we hope that trade, investment, and services, uh, even IP nexus. Uh, we do the justice to this. So this is something the area uh, we're looking at. Uh, as in India, regional economic uh, engagement are still far from from the, the you know, song, from this uh, uh, realizing the potential because due to this uh, missing uh, or uh, inadequate emphasis on this interdependence, and we need to to put at this. On the other hand, also uh, uh, have in, in fact uh, been tasked to write a paper. So. It, I, I made a paper for this uh, meeting, and you can look at it, one on the trade facilitation uh, provision with uh, regard to, so as if we have it, but uh, the, the provision that's uh, between uh, the, 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 the plus one, particular India, this is something that we have to look at it, and uh, it's fairly to say it's still broadly formulated and aspirational. I do not commit it to parties who undertake concrete action and to achieve specific targets and goals. So this is the area of facilitation and provide in, let's say, compared to the rest of ASEAN dialogue, you know, India perhaps is the least of, of that uh, when compared to, to, to the others. So I hope I did not look into, into uh, the agreement that you tried to put it this year. Uh, as well on the non-tariff barriers, so this is uh, already uh, tried to, uh, you know, that's addressed in the new agreement. And uh, this agreement, uh, 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 of course, we know that uh, ASEAN the FTA already facilitate tariff in for goods, but not yet in the NTB, which continue to restrict uh, trade for both sides. We estimate, you know, this is a research study. So we said, adding on this, you add another so-called 70 or 80 percent of the barriers, you know, uh, of the, the potential that we can, you know, given to to each other. So this concern of NTB are often raised by the business sector. They always say, you know, but what about the, uh, the, the you know, the policy makers? What about the, uh, the way that we have to devise strategy to tackle this area also as seen as critical? So that's shown in my table one. And, uh, and, 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 and also, as I think it's, uh, uh, why are we talking about the, uh, the, the, the production networks and, and value chain? 
I think is um, uh, we know that uh, the AEC as a uh, number and uh, many co ASEAN colleagues uh, try to show is uh, this year is important and Malaysia lucky before we go to see the, the result but it's, uh, let's say that this is a starting point that uh, we go to see before the launch of the uh, the single market and, and production base the next year for sure so we uh, uh, we look at deeper integration to benefit uh, demand supply relationship in production and distribution network and, and knowledge transfer uh, between Northeast Asia and Southeast Asia and beyond. And then ASEAN, uh, in fact, uh, particularly quite successful, I think from, again, from Singapore to Malaysia to Thailand, and now the look at the case of Vietnam also, so successful, uh, Indonesia uh, the, with the new president and, and, and Philippines uh, also in service sector and, uh, and we hope also from the rest of the CLLV and uh, this is going to be very important I think it's also the case of Cambodia they also uh, quite successful in terms of uh, following the Vietnam so this is uh, challenging to, uh, to, to, to spread out this uh, also how to reach the, the South Asia and India and uh, that's why I think it's, um, uh, I, I agree that improving infrastructure connectivity uh, across the region, and uh, this is a very important, another mention of ASEAN. So ASEAN doing not only among ourselves, and also we look at the plus one, and uh, this is the work that uh, Prabir or Iria or, or many research institutes we try to look at. Because we're looking at uh, supply chain connectivity, and again, my figure two, three in, in the paper uh, showing clear on this about the how uh, the importance of a, a master plan on ASEAN connectivity also looking at uh, this connectivity beyond and the connectivity is now the, 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 the language that we talk from the APEC, APEC in Beijing last year they also have uh, connectivity and also this I think is, uh, this is uh, the, 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 the good time and, and, and we have to really address uh, the links uh, uh, on, on ASEAN India. So uh, not just to traditional mode of, uh, of course, of connectivity, but also to uh, new uh, landscape, as said, from, from land, maritime, and transport, uh, air, air transport as well. So uh, probably have the big list, I'm not going to uh, touching upon, but I think it's uh, from uh, Thailand or mainland East Asia perspective, I believe the trilateral highway, this is a must, and we have to come back to show clearly, you know, the success case, where the success, where the firm, where the business, being able to benefit from that. Because for the moment, uh, from Thai perspective, we are trying to do economic zone, the special economic zone, and linking with Myanmar, only mass or, you know, the transport, land transport, with uh, Myanmar done uh, by this transport, only 50 to 60% of our trade to only this spot and that's why we increase the second uh, border zone and we try to streamline all the custom procedure, uh, institution uh, and, and, and physical things that we need to, to do it. So we hope uh, uh, through Northeast India and also Myanmar uh, doing their, their part. And I also mentioned my paper about the, 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 the seaport that we uh, uh, we're looking at the uh, Dawai, that the uh, Japanese, uh, 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 JPEG, in fact, two weeks ago we had a meeting uh, in Bangkok on ASEAN-Japan uh, partnership and uh, uh, JPEG president also now is so uh, looking forward very much to uh, 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 the, the technical support and financial support. So I'll be looking at, I agree, about the PPP, uh, you know, the private uh, uh, public enterprise uh, partnership, uh, how to do it. So this is a kind of so searching in terms of the best model to, to do this. So I will not have time to address uh, uh, all the detail, but I believe at least there are some of the important projects about energy security and cooperation. Uh, uh, again, the Prabir and, and the Nambia also in part uh, uh, try to outline the uh, potential in this area. Uh, we work uh, at the ASEAN Study Center. We work very much on the concept of uh, uh, ASEAN uh, energy market integration, a big project, but it has more time. But uh, essentially, we try to moving upon the so-called uh, bilateral deals, uh, the kind of regional cooperation to a more new concept of regional cooperation. So the, the regional 
goals uh, should be also uh, important, not only leading to uh, the kind of the deal, uh, uh, at the, 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 the bilateral deals, you know, so that could create more conflict. So the kind of, if you're looking, you know, like the, the, the cross-regional or, or, or regional integration as, as, a, as a way to moving forward, so there will be a lot of potential for cooperation. So I will not have time to go to uh, the conclusion. Uh, just to say that, uh, 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 of course, uh, uh, global production network evolution is important phenomenon. We already there uh, in the exact behinds how to to channel through. So this is a, a, a trade independence, uh, a, a cross investment among each other, uh, will be important. And connectivity that we talking a lot in this session uh is, is very important and and i agree that although we don't have time but the, the potential is there and i outline some of the uh, of course the uh, uh, new policy initiative that need to address uh, with regard to how to improve intra-industry trade among each other about trade facilitation the non-tariff barriers uh, of course still not large enough to increase intra-industry trade so that's why we uh, we see the potential of uh, linking uh, through connectivity and infrastructure, and uh, that would be perhaps uh, a few words I could offer to you. Thank you for your attention. Thank you very much.